Good afternoon. It's Michelle here again, coming to you uh, this Wednesday afternoon. And today I would like to talk to you about, are you on target with your goals for 2019? Right now we sit at the last week of June and uh, quarter two is just about over. And on Monday, quarter three begins. So where are you in your business as it relates to the goals you set? Um, at the beginning of the year. And, you know, because I am a, am a uh, financial person and I deal with the numbers of business all the time, I thought that uh, today, this is what I would talk about, um, the numbers in your business and where you are uh, financially. Uh, so if this resonates with you and you want to hear more, stay tuned. Um, please share this uh, with other business owners and um, post it on your Facebook page or share it on your Facebook page so we can get the word out about how to make your business more profitable and how to stay on track with your numbers every month so that you are running a profitable business. If you don't know where you are right now and you don't have a vision for where you're going, how are you supposed to meet your target? So setting a target, um, for your business is very important and the financial target is very important. So at the beginning of each year, we always uh, think about our goals and what we want to do for the year. But as we start um, the year out, maybe we start out strong tracking that information and maybe we start out strong trying to hit a target every week for our financial goals. But then as we're doing business and as life happens, because it happens, we get sidetracked because numbers are not our thing. And, you know, just the mundaneness of tracking those numbers uh, can become tedious as a business owner and it just becomes overwhelming. But when you look at it from the perspective of Am I improving my business? Do I have enough cash flow coming in to meet my business obligations and to pay myself? One of the things small business owners struggle with a lot is that they're not generating enough income in order to pay themselves. So a lot of times they feel like they're working a lot, but not reaping the benefit monetarily. And that just comes down to what are your goals? What do you want for your business? And then think about how much money do you actually wanna make personally? You always need to factor that in. And then that also goes back to, am I charging enough? People, when I talk to people all the time and they tell me what their prices are, I'm like, is that enough? Is that enough to accomplish the goals that you have set for your personal life as well as your business life. So one of the things I like to help my clients do is to create a plan of action on how to develop uh, a strategic goal for the business. And so that that um, helps you um, maintain what you want personally as well. So we take that into uh, factor as well. So knowing what you want is one, two, what is the monetary benefit you're receiving from your business? Because you should be receiving a monetary benefit. If you're in business just to give things away, then are you really in business or are you a nonprofit? You need to ask yourself that. Because if you are putting forth the effort to help other people solve whatever it is or sell a product or whatever it is in your business, um, if you're putting forth the effort to do that, you should be gaining personally from that. That's my belief. And that's why you should be in business. Otherwise you have a nonprofit and then your goals are very different if you're having, if you have a nonprofit because you're not expecting to make a profit in the business. Hence why it's called nonprofit, right? So, um, so if you're in a profitable business or, um, a business that serves other people, uh, that helps other people, whether it's via product or, or service or whatever it is you do, you need to be gaining monetarily. So let's think about what is the strategic goal of your business and review what you thought you wanted to do at the beginning of the year. Is it coming to fruition? 
are you actually reaping the tangible benefits of being in business? Um, and a lot of times it's tracking what you're doing and, and looking at your numbers. I like to train my clients to have CFO days, which is called chief financial officer days, because you are the chief financial officer in your business. Whether uh, you have someone working with you, doing the actual bookkeeping and accounting work for you, or you're doing it yourself, you are still the chief financial officer of your business and you get to direct the finances of your business. So one, set aside time to review your numbers. Not only review your financial numbers and make sure your your processes and your workflows are moving through your business to capture everything that you need, um, but also reviewing the numbers of driving your business. So reviewing the things like um, the metrics of your business. So if, if you deploy a marketing campaign in your business, what does it cost and what is the ROI or return on investment of that effort of the marketing campaign. The, there should be a monetary gain for that. You should be tracking that. Whether you track it weekly or monthly on your CFO days, you should be tracking that and learning what you need to do in order to, um, in order to see how your efforts are working. And if your efforts are not working, then maybe you need to modify the plan. So having those CFO days and reviewing what you said you were going to do to make sure that is working. So if you're um, coming on here and listening to this, please share this with other people who are business owners because it's, it's helpful information. A lot of times I take these things for granted, but other people don't know how to do this. So, and then the third thing I wanna talk about is your systems. What are the processes you have in place in your business to help you track those things when you have your CFO days? So one of the things that you could be tracking is how many leads did I get in my business for the month? And then how many sales conversations at actually happen from those leads? And then from those sales conversations, how many clients did I actually take on and receive money for? Now, once you receive that money, that's called income. And the income from your business is what is really driving your business. This is how you pay your vendors. This is how you pay yourself. Uh, this is where you start to gain profit in your business as long as you don't have expenses that exceed your income, then you have profit. So what systems do you have in place to track those things? So not only like the non-monetary things like the lead generation and then how many actual clients that you actually booked in your business, but how are you tracking your money? What do you do? Are you using a software? Are you using paper and pencil? Are you using an Excel spreadsheet? What are you doing to track the expenses in your business? Now, I am a big fan of QuickBooks Online, whether you start with self-employed or you have one of the more robust programs. I think you need to start somewhere because one, it can help you analyze your business more easily. If you had all of your expenses tracked in an Excel spreadsheet, you it would be you would have a more difficult time sorting, sorting and uh, capturing the information that you're looking for. Whereas when you're using a program you can put in filters and create reports and things like that so that you can stay on target for what your financial goals are. Also within your system of financial tracking in your business, um, you want to track how you're spending your money and capturing the receipts and capturing the things that you have recurring in your financial system. So those are all systems in your business that help you stay on track to what you say your goals are and then going back and reviewing that information so that you are um, staying on top and actually being the boss of your business and telling your business what to do and not leaving it to uh you know to chance like 
you know, I'm just going to throw this out there and, and see what sticks. No, that's not the best way to become the boss of your business. Um, so for the rest of the summer, I am going to be doing Q&A sessions with business owners. Um, and I want you to submit your questions to me. Um, and I'm going to talk about them probably in a 30 minute session on my Facebook page. So if you would like information on how to do that, I am going to post a link in the chat so that um, you can submit your questions. We're gonna go live every Monday in the month of July and August so that I can help you answer the questions you have about your specific business so that you can help, so that you know what to do to grow your business. That's the whole purpose of this is so that you know what to do to grow your business and get your questions answered about uh, specifically what's going on in your business. So if you would like to participate, I've put a link in the chat, click on the link. And what's going to happen is one, you're going to receive an invitation um, to the group and you will also be able to give me your question. And then based on, on the category of the question, I'll be talking about different categories each week. Um, and uh, I wanna get your questions answered so that you can build a better business. Uh, and the question categories run around uh, clarity in your business, what you need to focus on, how to set up your systems in your business. Um, like I was just talking about your lead generation or uh, how do you educate people about what you do? How do you get your message out there? Um, how to make more money, pricing, packaging, all of that. We'll be talking about all of that on our Facebook Lives Q&A sessions starting Monday, July 1st. So if you would like to attend that, please invite your friends to join. Uh, if they're business owners as well, invite them to join because I will be at answering specific questions in the Q&A sessions. So share this information with other people in the in your business community and I will be happy to help. Uh, this is free of charge. There's, there's no fee for it. It's just a service I wanna offer you through the summer because I know summer can be difficult in business because people are not paying attention to their business. But trust me, there are clients out there who need what you have to offer and I wanna be able to help you uh, fine tune what you're already doing and answer any questions. So that's all I have for today. And um, share this video with those who you think it can help. And I appreciate you. Thank you so much. And talk to you soon.